Hi everyone, it's Simon here with a review and constructive feedback request for Renzo Racer. Renzo Racer is developed by a small Mexican studio called Encenasoft. They're independent and they're building a kart game and they got in contact with me because I play all of the kart games under the sun and was just looking for some constructive feedback whilst the game's in early access. It is in early access and will continue to be so for the next six to eight months or so, uh, so pretty much being ready for a full release in 2020. Renzo Racer is a cutesy animal kart racing game. There are 16 animals to choose from. Each one has slightly different characteristics in terms of acceleration, top speed, weight of the car. Um, and you race around 20 tracks, although they are grouped into themed worlds essentially. So very similar to most of your kart racing tracks. You have small cups of four races. They'll all be around slightly different environments. You've got like a jungle, there's like a general island road. I quite like the castle like historical mode and there's like a sweet world as well which I thought was quite cute because there's marshmallows like slamming down on you. Um, so yeah, I really like the theming, the music was really good. However, there's two things for me that karting games live and die by and the first one is frame rate which Renzo Racer has a really good frame rate for. It doesn't necessarily matter if the graphics are great or terrible so long as it runs smoothly and that for Renzo Racer I have to say it does. So that was good. The second one though is where the issue and the constructive feedback for me comes for Renzo Racer and that is around the handling. It doesn't matter how much effort you put into a karting game, if the handling is poor and you don't get enjoyment out of it, the rest of the game is essentially worthless as a result of that. And the issues uh, for Renzo Racer start initially from when you pull away. The acceleration is really, really tardy, and there's like, it's as if each cart has like three stages of gears. You've got like a pull away acceleration, which is painfully slow. Then you've got like a middle gear, which is feels just like you're on like the 50cc version of every game ever. Um, and then eventually it will kind of transition into a much faster speed, and you're like, ooh, that's cool. But not too many tracks actually ever let you get that far for very long. And it's just as well because when you hit the corners, each car handles like an absolute truck. Um, and it doesn't matter necessarily what animal you pick, they all handle like trucks. And so it doesn't matter, like if you at high speed, you can't then get round corners because you just smash into the wall. Then when you smash into the wall, invariably you get clipped at an awkward angle. The car then grinds to an immediate halt you then have to go through that whole tedious process of accelerating really slowly again. That would all be fine if you was able to brake and turn at the same time, but Renzo Racer completely ignores any drift mechanic whatsoever. Now I don't necessarily mind that if the cars are able to be zippy and handle appropriately as a result, but for Renzo Racer it doesn't. The issue for me, and it's, it's around expectation and I guess correlation. You've got cars that are quite floaty in the air when they do jumps and go over ramps and they're all flying around and that's all fine. Then when you get to the corner and try to brake, braking only break, it breaks and happens in a straight line. So then you kind of lock up your wheels and go forward. You can't brake and turn. Um, because there's no drifting involved, you just kind of break in a straight line and then grind to a halt and then get stuck through that whole acceleration again. Um, similarly, I spent the first couple of races that I played the game smacking what you normally have is the trigger buttons on your controller for accelerate and brake. But it isn't, it's accelerate and reverse and one of your bumper uh, buttons are actually brake. So I was hitting reverse and it was slightly veering me off to the side because it was trying to swap ends and I was like, hmm, this is very confusing. However, braking is less effective than hitting reverse. So I ended up reverting back to just hitting reverse anyway or just taking my finger off the accelerator to try and scrimp my way round corners. So, um, I found that really, really frustrating and particularly the more challenging the circuit is in terms of corners and obstacles uh, because obstacles are done in such a way that actually they catch you out more often than not because there's hardly anywhere in the circuit particularly with things that like flip back and forth across the circuit like um, like saws 
Uh, they, they go too fast so they catch you out quite often. You then just get hit back to a, a halt again and you're like, oh, now I've got to go for accelerations. Oh. The next issue that I have is around the actual objects and collision detection. So this happens around if you smack an object, it gets, sometimes quite often you get caught and like you end up on your side and upside down and it takes forever to write itself. And then when you write yourself, you then have to go through that horrible acceleration process again. The next issue is that sometimes when you're doing weapons, there's always a radius in what actually happens with a weapon exploding, whether that's a missile or a bomb, usually. And with those, quite often if you're throwing a bomb and it's hitting someone behind you, you'll then get caught up in that explosion and spin round. So it's often in your best interest to not use the weapons at all. Um, it also seems to be really hit and miss with the miss missiles, if they're actually going to be homing ones and hit someone, or just kind of smash up and go straight forward and smash whatever it's going to do, either the pavement or someone else. So it feels a bit hit and miss as to whether those work or not. The game also comes with a VR, which I've not been able to... Uh, try out in any way shape or form but apparently for the next six months uh, the early access is about dealing with local and online multiplayer uh, so firstly for two player split screen and then adding in online uh, they're also going to be adding additional power-ups as well but for me I would rather them spend the time looking at how they can make the carts a little bit more flexible and user-friendly if you're going for a really cutesy aesthetic, then you need to be able to have a really accessible kart racer so that actually when you're hitting left and right on the analog sticks, you can actually feel yourself like turning because it just doesn't feel like a turning at all. It's like you're on ice on a bobsled and you can only go forward and eventually kind of tilt the weight to one direction and pull yourself around. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of an awkward, frustrating uh, experience for me to play Renzo Racer in its current state. I don't recommend it necessarily at the moment because I think that there are better racers out there at the moment. If you're looking for something that is animal based and cart based, Meow Motors has this down to a T and I'd recommend that, especially if you're looking for local multiplayer over Renzo Racer at the moment. That being said, with a few tweaks Renzo Racer could be a good gateway cheap entrance level because it's only £3.99 compared to Meow Motors which I think is like £12 so obviously you're going to get a better uh, or would expect pound for pound a better experience so Renzo Racer only needs to make a few changes for it to vastly improve in what it needs to do but it's all around those physics and the expectations versus reality of like, getting yourself around a corner um, so yeah I hope that was informative there's a good base game here it just needs some accessibility tweaking to make it easier to turn around and therefore more enjoyable to play. Uh, then perhaps a little bit of increase in the difficulty of the AI um, because once you get to pull away from them, particularly if you're going down a long straight, um, they can't keep up with you. So once you're out of range from them spamming you with weapon attacks, then generally you're okay. Um, so yeah, Tentative, but hopeful for Renzo Racer in the future. I hope that was informative to you guys, developers. And uh, thank you so much for getting in touch and giving me the opportunity to provide feedback for you. I shall watch with interest and I'll return to it uh, in future updates so just to see how this goes. And if I do make a future video, I'll make sure to link from one to the other and vice versa so you can see the progress made. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.